we are learning to write word problems as equations. Let's have a look at this word problem. It says, if you spot 36 butterflies in your garden and 11 more join them, how many butterflies would there be altogether? Now the first thing we need to do is to decide, is this an addition problem, a subtraction, a multiplication or a division? So we have 36 butterflies and 11 more join them. How many altogether? Now this word here, altogether, is a really good clue about what kind of problem this is. This is going to be an addition problem. We're going to add. So we've got 36 plus 11 more join them equals. So we would write the equation like that and then we'd work out the answer. Now let's have a look at this problem. If 96 people are sunbathing on the beach and 18 go for a swim, how many people are left sunbathing? So first of all, we need to decide, are we going to add, subtract, multiply or divide? Now a really good clue in this um, problem is where it says, how many people are left? This is going to be a subtraction problem. So we'd write this as an equation like, like this, 96 take away 18 equals and you'd work out the answer to the problem. What about this problem? If you have 49 pieces of chocolate and give 24 pieces away, how many pieces of chocolate do you have left? You may have already noticed this bit at the end, how many do you have left? That tells us that it's going to be a subtraction problem. So for this problem, we would go 49 take away 24 and find out the missing value at the end. This problem says if you count 62 sheep in a field and 24 cows, how many animals are there altogether? And if we remember that the word, when we see the words altogether in a word problem, that usually means that we're going to add. So with this problem we would go 62 plus 24 and then you would work out the answer to that problem. OK, let's have a look at this problem. It says, how many wheels would 11 motorbikes have? To solve this problem, I'm going to use multiplication, because there are 11 motorbikes, and each motorbike has two wheels. So I'm going to multiply 11 by 2, to find out the answer to this problem. So this would be a multiplication problem. What about this problem? It says, Sam is sharing biscuits between himself and his four brothers. If there are 25 in the pack, how many will they each get? Now in this problem it uses the word sharing. When I see that word in a word problem, I know that it's going to be a division problem. So there are 25 biscuits and Sam is sharing them between his four brothers and himself. So there's five people that they're sharing them amongst. So this problem would be 25 biscuits divided amongst the five people equals how many? What about this problem? It says, if seven taxis arrive at the party at the same time, each carrying five passengers, how many guests arrive at once? Now, I could solve this problem by skip counting, by going five plus five plus five and doing that seven times, or I could use my multiplication facts, which would be much more clever. So if I went, the seven taxis, they're each carrying five passengers, so seven taxis with five passengers in each um, taxi, and that will tell me how many there are all together. This problem says, a machine making sweets puts 10 in each packet. If the machine has produced 70 sweets, how many packets can it fill? 
So this problem is going to require me to share the 70 sweets in the 10 packets. So because I'm sharing, I know it's going to be a division problem. So this problem is asking me to go 70 sweets divided in amongst the 10 packets equals how many in each packet. So today you're going to write some word problems as equations to show your understanding of the word problems.